Hey, what's going on? This is Eric Cortina. Today, I'm gonna talk about the newly released Easy Tuner Brake, and I'm gonna answer a lot of questions that some of you may have. All right, so first and foremost, what is an Easy Tuner Brake? Well, Typically, on my easy tuner, you have a muzzle brake, and then you would have to machine the barrel behind it to install the easy tuner. A lot of you have asked me to make an integral version. So that's what this is. This in the center is obviously the muzzle brake. Back here, we have a self-timing nut. That's going to allow you to install your muzzle brake in the correct orientation. And the way you know that is the letters are facing up. And out here in the front, we have the tuner. So this one, for example, is set to number two, but it's gonna come like that, to zero. The muscle brake is threaded 5H24, so this goes right onto your barrel like any other muscle brake does. So what happens if you have half inch 28 threads? Well, you can still run this uh, muscle brake, but you will need an adapter. Let me show you. This barrel is threaded for half 28. And all you have to do is get one of these adapters. I will put a link in the description below as well. And you thread it on. This is a half 28 to 5H24 adapter. Thread it onto your barrel. Make sure it's nice and tight. Obviously, it's not now. Once you install your uh, adapter, then you can simply install your uh, easy tuner brake, just like that, okay? And of course, you notice that it did not orient properly. We want these letters at the top. Okay, so you back off the tuner brake like that. Then you advance the nut, the self-timing nut, like this. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna do that where it's about a quarter turn before where it's supposed to be. Then you put a wrench right here on these flats and then you tighten it, okay? And that's going to ensure that it is timed properly and that it's tight against the, uh, the barrel to keep it from coming loose, okay? And then from there on, you just use your tuner to uh, tune your load. This is your tuner right here. So how do you tune your load? Well, you start at zero. I'm gonna actually turn it so you guys can see better. If you haven't seen the video where I tuned this AR-10, I'm gonna put a link right here and also in the description below. So you start at zero, right there, and then you shoot a three shot group. If you're a really good shot, you can actually even do two shot groups because if two shots are not close together, the third one's not gonna help. So you shoot a group on zero, and you shoot another group on two, and four, so you're gonna go in increments of two, and six, and eight, 10, okay? And then you start all around again, okay? So the way this works is you're gonna wanna, you, you're gonna see your groups if, if you are at zero. And let's just say you have a three quarter inch group and then you go to two right here and then you get a one inch group. Don't stop. Your groups are in a bell curve, okay? So that just means you're just going up the curve. Keep going and it should bring the groups back in, okay? Once the groups come in, okay? and then they get back out, then you'll know exactly where you need to be, right? You wanna find that node. Now, how tight are your groups gonna get? Well, that depends on your equipment, your load. There's just a lot of variables you barrel. So, there is not a guarantee as to group size, but there is a guarantee that you will be able to find the best groups that your system can provide. And once you have the best groups possible, then of course you can uh, select that setting. Uh, I don't know what size that is. If you guys saw, like I said, I took this AR-10, right? And I mean, this is an AR-10 with, uh, I mean, it is, it does have a Brooks barrel and uh, it's a Mega Mod 10, but it does have a Leopold scope. So, I mean, it's kind of a, kind of a higher end AR-10, but it's still an AR-10. And if you go watch that video that I linked in the description, you will see that this rifle was shooting quarter inch groups at 100 yards. And I mean, I was using factory ammunition. 
I was able to tune this rifle in six shots. It literally took me six shots because I started at zero, shot a group, which was about half MOA. Then I went to two and then it printed a quarter inch group, actually smaller, like 242 or something. And, uh, and then I, I called it a day because I just wanted to go shoot long range and I was able to hit those plates all the way out to 565. So fairly, fairly simple. Again, there is not a guarantee as to group size. There's only a guarantee that it will affect your groups. And once you can manipulate your groups, then you can pick the smallest ones. Bore size. This one is a 6.5 Creedmoor, and I have a 6.5 muscle brake on there. The muscle brake is not caliber specific. It is bore specific, okay? For example, this is a 6.5. You can use it in a 6, you can use it in a 22, okay? Anything smaller than 6.5, it'll work. If you try to use it on a 7 uh, millimeter or, or even a 30, obviously it's not going to work because the bullet's going to get stuck <laughs> in your muscle brake. So, not a good idea. For that, we offer also a 30 caliber, okay? If you only have one, if you only want to have one that you can use across all your rifles, well, get the 30 and then you can use it on anything under 30. Is it more efficient, for example, to have a 6.5 on a 6.5? Slightly. It's not going to be a difference that you're going to notice. So just uh, just run the, uh, again, if you're only going to buy one, then you can just get 30. Now, some of you have asked, what if I want to put on a 338? Well, all I have to do is bore the hole bigger. Okay, so if you have a 338 that uh, it is threaded for 5H24, just let me know and I will thread this for you, or actually I will bore it for you, slightly big, you know, whatever, whatever you need, okay? Uh, there'll be a slight fee for that, but just let me know, we can accommodate you. Another question I have been asked, am I going to offer these in black? I will, however, at the moment, we are way backed up on orders, so it's gonna be a little while before we offer the black ones, but we will at some point. I don't know when right now. Another question I have is, am I going to offer these in three quarter threads? Yes, the idea is that at some point, we'll have a full line of easy tuner brakes. However, right now we have only released the four port uh, 5H24 in stainless okay but yes the plan is to expand our line but like i said right now we're just filling orders for these all right so i hope that answers some of the questions you guys may have about the easy tuner break uh like i said it it threads on right to your 5h24 threads and as you guys saw if you have a half 28 you can also install it on that uh, another question that i have gotten is Will it work on shorter barrels? Yes, it'll work on shorter barrels. It'll work on longer barrels. You know, as long as you have a barrel, it'll have harmonics. And if you put a tuner on there, it will work. For more information, you can always go to our website, ericortina.com, and then you can go ahead and place your orders. Uh, we are taking orders right now for the second batch. The first batch was sold in less than 24 hours. So we're working on the next batch right now, and it's going well. I'm hoping to have more tuners in about two to three weeks. So make sure you order yours so you can get one on the next batch. Again, this is Eric Cortina, and I hope all your groups are one whole. See ya. And I